Now this function is super useful in Python. Let's say we have a generator that gives us the live temperature readings. Now normally, if I use the for loop to loop through this generator once, then you can see it works fine. But now, if I try to loop over readings again, let's say for logging purposes, then this time you can see nothing prints. That's because the generator is already exhausted. So one thing we could do is to convert it into a list first, and then we can loop through the data as many times as we want. But this means we store everything in memory, which isn't ideal for continuous streams. So instead, Python gives us a better option. We can use the T function from the IDER tools module. And now all we have to do is to create two independent iterators from the same data stream. So we will create a process stream and a log stream iterator, and then we will use as the T function, and inside it, we will first pass our readings generator as the parameter, and then we pass two, which simply means we are creating two independent iterators from the same data stream. And now I can loop over the first one for processing and then loop over the second one for logging. So when we run the program, both loops print all the readings without losing data. 